Yo, y'all, what's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And like a video if you appreciate and like the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers bringing you guys. Today, I'm going to talk about Freaky Zeke and the whole did he snitch or did he not snitch, which is a big question that I've been on the internet for a long time. So if you know who Freaky Zeke is, he's an original Dipset member. You know what I'm saying? With him, Jewels, Cameron, Jim Jones. Um, he's a hype man, rapper, muscle, whatever you want to call it. Just one original member, a real diplomat member, day one. So, in about 2003, um, if you know Dipset, they were big. Diplomats was big. They all The main members had the bird chain, a big bird chain with the eagle, with the um, Diplomats across, and usually their name on it, with the wings flooded in diamonds. So, you know, Freaky had a couple of those. So, on the night of August, I mean, on, in, in April 2003, um, he was leaving a club and got into a car accident, right? So, now, people don't know if the car accident was a disguise to attempt a robbery or if it was a genuine car accident that happened that just went left. So, they get into a car accident with another car. Both occupants of both cars hop out. They start talking. Eventually, they start arguing. Eventually, they start fighting. As the fight goes on, some shots is let off. Freaky gets shot and also the person he was with gets shot, Eric Magnum. Eric dies, Freaky lives. The whole thing is caught on camera. As time goes on, um, they start getting arrested for these things. Three people get arrested. Um, Her Don Williams, John Mingo, and Chauncey Dillon. Remember the name Chauncey Dillon because that's a big part of the whole thing right here. So, they get arrested, they get charged with the murder and the robbery. It was an unsuccessful robbery because they didn't even get the chain or nothing. And, um, Chauncey Dillon goes to trial, so now Freaky is called in to testify. So when T Freaky testifies, which he does testify, so that's key fact that he does testify, he takes a stand. He basically said, I don't know what happened, I don't really know, there's too much going on. All I remember is that I got shot, pistol whipped, and thrown into the garbage by a guy wearing a green jacket. But I don't know who it is, I can't point him out. I have no idea. So the DA takes the information, he's like, okay, cool. After Freaky gets off the stand, he plays a video which shows Chauncey Dillon in a green jacket. So, long story short, they get convicted of the crime. They get 30 years. You understand? He's locked up for 30 years for the murder, attempted robbery of Freaky Zeke and his friend Eric Magnum. So, Freaky took the stand. Freaky didn't point him out, but Freaky gave a description of what he was wearing. The DA comes after with a video, basically, all right, you don't know who that is. Well, here's a video from the night of with Chauncey Dillon wearing a green jacket um, the same night that you got shot and Eric got killed. The jury took bleed it, convicted him, and Chauncey got 30 years. So that's the story right there. So now it's up to you to figure out, was that snitching? Was that not snitching? If you ask me, I what's the numbers? A spade is a spade. I got to call that snitching. Yeah, your man died. Yeah, you got shot. Yeah, y'all didn't ask for none of that. But if you're looking at it from a street aspect, you're snitching. Because you went up there, you give a description. And the description, your description helped that guy get convicted. Because you you was basically describing him that night of the shooting. Now, if you're a civilian or if you want some, I don't, he shot my man. We ain't had nothing to do with that. We ain't, why you ra trying to rob us? We some people think like that, you know, some people feel like, I'm not doing nothing to you, I'm a street dude, yeah, I'm a street dude, I'm in the street, I'm in the hood, whatever, but I ain't doing nothing to you, so why are you trying to rob me? I'm going to tell you, you ain't got no right to rob me, that's how some people feel, you know, but if you're in the streets, you know the, you know the rules, there ain't no talk of the police, you get, your man get killed, you get shot, you deal with it in the streets, or you don't deal with it at all, and move on about your life, if you call yourself a street dude. Now, if you're not a street dude, then yeah, by all means, handle it with the law, enforcement with the authorities, and get justice that way. But Freaky Ziggy, I doesn't feel like, you know, I feel like he's more so a street guy, so the way he handled it could be looked at as wrong. But hey, it's 2020, about to be 2020. I keep saying 2020 on my videos. It's about to be 2020. You know, it's just a different day and age out here. But you guys in the comments, let me know how y'all feel. Did Freaky rat? Is he a rat? Is he a rat moving forward or is just an isolated incident that people give him a pass for and tend to look over because of who he is and who he's around and the whole situation behind it about he getting shot, his man getting killed, and basically they didn't have no right to run up and try to do nothing like that. How do you guys feel? But yo, this is What's the Numbers TV. It's a quick video. Y'all just come on touch because everybody throwing this around, freaky this, freaky that. So I'm going to give y'all the whole story and now y'all more informed to make y'all decision. It's What's the Numbers TV. It's your boy, Paul Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Like a video 
And let me know if y'all want me to start going live, man. I kind of, um, you know, holla at my subscribers and, you know, get a feel of what y'all want to see and what y'all want to know. If that's something you want to do. Because I ain't really into the whole live because I ain't really care about being all out there trying to get clout from YouTube with all these other streamers. I'd rather just give y'all the news how I'm giving it. But I do make, I do kind of want to go live to, you know, get a feel of who my subscribers and who my followers are that, not even followers, my um, people that are interested in certain things that I talk about that, you know, might want certain information on certain topics. Maybe we could get a little more better understanding on that. But anyway, what's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Paul Rowe. I'm out of here, man. Peace.